Hello everyone, my name is VTech and today we have some sad news. Now in the comment section of one of my videos, a guy by the name of Stalker Mike sent me this and I was actually kind of thrown off at first. So we're going to be reading it real quick. Actually we're reading two articles. Uh, we're going to read this one first actually, it's a bit smaller. Uh, both games were removed from the store. This is from the developer uh, Golden Mike. I don't know if that's actually the same person that commented could be actually but friends we have bad news today our partner account was blocked in steam and both games were removed from the store we received a letter stating that steam received a complaint about cheating reviews and found to be justified and as a result we were blocked by a partner account at the moment we do not really understand what is at issue and of course publicly confirmed that we are not engaged in any cheating respect the rule uh, i don't know i can't speak today rules of the steam store we asked about the thoroughly check the problem we'll wait for their solutions as for the purchase games activated keys the opportunity to play has remained so the thing is right now we can still play the game which is thumbs up you know and you can you can still you know the server's still there everything's still working however i've also seen this article here too which is a little sad um and this one was it says april 10th up here but april 6 2017 which is uh believe you know a day yeah, day before this was written. So, open letter to Valve Steam Store from the development team, Argus Games of Tech War Online 2. April 6, 2017, our developer account, our games were blocked, as we said. The reason for the blocking was pointed out to us by Jason Ruman, an employee of Valve Company, that our team used fake accounts to write reviews on their own games and thereby manipulated the review system. Our letter of April 7, 2017, with a request to clarify what is that issue, Jason Raymond ignored and left unanswered. Of course, they go on to say they repeatedly declared with full responsibility that they did not create fake accounts, there were no fake reviews, stuff of that nature. Um, based on the above, we require from Valve recovery of our developer account and our games in the Steam store. We demand this to be done in the near future, no later than April 14th, 2017. In case of any questions during the specified period from Valve, we are ready for dialogue and joint interaction for clarification of circumstances and other information that caused such a blockage of our developer accounts and our games. Also, we demand from Valve all the proceeds from the sales of our games, renewed for March and a return to the players. To serve requirements, we give an instruction to the bank that serves our company not to accept payments from the company Valve. Moreover, all of the trading cards dropped to players in the process of playing Tech Wars Online 2. Our studio undertakes to redeem in full at price, or at least five cents per card within the next 90 days. If Valve continues to ignore our questions and our requirements, then on April 15th, sadly, they will disable access to Tech Wars Online 2 game servers for Steam players. So, if you read into this carefully, Tech Wars Online 2 still might be a thing because if Argus Games goes on their uh, website, which I haven't checked out yet, but I will soon, um, you know, you might be able to still play the game, which will be a massive thumbs up. I don't know if Steam players will still get the game if you already purchased it, um, or like with me, I got a review copy, but. You know, that's, that's kind of sad to see that uh, Valve is doing this. I don't know if they're doing it on purpose, if someone, you know, got rubbed the wrong way or something of that nature. But uh, this is definitely one of the better, you know, early access game concepts. I'll say that it still has a long way to go. And for it to be shut down or go through this in the beginning of its process uh, can, you know, really discourage a game developer to continue his game on there. So I'm going to just go right here to Tech Wars Online 2, go to the store page, and I'll show you what it looks like nothing nothing shows up you can't even you can't see any of the reviews or nothing and i think that's uh that's really sad so of course you know we can see discussion you know people just filing in with their support stuff of that you know french coverage that's great and um positive support definitely what the developers need right now um you know probably in a couple of days i'll look back into this and see what goes on i'll probably make a video uh you know me playing it with a buddy of mine i think he has the game yeah yeah, I got Mob Gaming. You guys know him from my Seven Days to Die series and stuff like that. So I'm gonna, you know, hit him up in the next couple of days and be like, "Hey, let's do a Tech Wars Online two video together." Before um, you know, there's not a chance to do that. Till then, everyone, keep it safe and uh, give your support to the developers. You know.